Crime scene investigations aren't pretty, and real-life CSI detectives don't feel very pretty well, either. Got a single female. She's There's no time to put on any makeup. Like investigator Peggy Rowlett, Wheat Bridge, Colorado PD. I see the people at crime scenes that, that are deceased, and I look at myself, and I think, oh my god, I, some of these people look better than I do. I look dead. The stress of almost 20 years of police work visibly etched on Detective Rollett's face. You would have to not be human for this job not to take a toll on you mentally and physically. I'd really like to have all of this excess skin over my eyes taken off. Because my eyes aren't very deep set and I don't have a lot of eyebrow, my eyes just droop and look closed all the time. I don't look very bright eyed. And uh, now I've got these lines uh, that come down on either side of my, my cheek and my left eye droops. I really looked in the mirror and felt unattractive to my husband and it affected my sexuality. I'm convinced he's not coming back. Let's go. Come on. So I've just reached that place where it's time to go on down the road. Uh, All right, okay. so when do you guys think, think we want to do this? Peggy thinks Probably. her fellow cops are planning her 20th anniversary party. Well, I, you know, I'm not doing anything. Well, so, actually, you are Peggy. You've been selected for Extreme Makeover. <laughs> <laughs> this is a set I hear you set me up! <laughs> I'm just stunned. I... And that's all she could say. Officer Rollett, Dr. John Perlman. Peggy, please. Peggy, John. As plastic surgeons, we're not just operating on movie stars. Most of us are operating on normal, everyday people. How can I help you today? Well, um, I've got just a, a lot of skin that yes. hangs down on my eyelashes, dark big dark circles under my eyes and puffy and I've had those all my life. Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel like I have much of an upper lip and I, I'm not looking for big full pouty lip and what I really want to do is is keep my character and my face. But I'd like to have you consider raising your brows through a little incision that is irregularly irregular along the top of your hairline then it goes into your hair. We'll remove some of the muscles here that'll decrease the frowning and furrowing here. Some skin removal and fat removal from your upper eyelids. Some fat removal from your lower lids. I want to raise your cheeks and lift your face. Peggy will get a brow lift, a face and neck lift, an upper and lower eye lift, fat injections, and a new chin. As a Southern California day begins, the dawn of an amazing transformation. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning, Doctor. How are you feeling? Excellent. Did you get some sleep last night? No. Did you? Yes, I did, actually. Oh. I slept very well. I'm glad to hear that. Now, can you tighten your neck muscles for me? Most of Detective Rollett's colleagues think she's on a vacation before her 20th anniversary party. This should be a very interesting work time experience. They, they have no idea. There's a couple of them there that know what's going on, but most of them do not. Close your eyes. I think that a lot of people will be very surprised that I chose to do something like this because this is fairly out of character for me, but I'm not nervous about it. Let's, let's get on with it. I think we are done. Take one last look. Oh my God. I look cute. I have to say goodbye to my face at 48 years. Dr. Perlman's challenge. My face is tingling. Is it? To give oh, Peggy Rowlett. It's got a bunch of needles. The face of her dreams. These fat cells have been permanently removed, and the body doesn't create new fat cells unless one is over 100 pounds overweight. Do you think we're up to 50 cc's yet? This is Peggy's wish list. Each desire, Perlman's command. Right now, I'm making the uh, pocket to place her chin implant. Excellent. I'm very content with that. I'm beginning to elevate her forehead to enable me to raise her brows. It's a nice feminine look. So I'm taking tiny droplets of fat and depositing it into little micro tunnels with this special cannula to balloon the skin of her upper eyelids. And then we will make incisions and remove some of this extra skin, a little bit of muscle and some fat. 
we used Hemacure Fibrin glue to reattach her skin surfaces to her cheek and neck. It decreases the swelling and bruising that our patients get after having a facelift. That really looks good. After seven hours of surgery, Peggy's wishes granted. Surgery's over, sweetheart. You did very, very well. Surgery is complete. You're fine. You're just fine. Relax. Let me put some ice on your lips. Peggy is drugged, unable to see. Your vision is blurred by the ointment. Her face in pain. Good. She is alone in a hospital in L.A. Dr. Perlman and his staff, her only family. Good. Rest your head back. Today, Dr. Perlman removes Peggy's stitches. It's like there was a person there now behind all that skin hanging down. This was Peggy before surgery. Okay. Little difference in your eyes and your brow. Now a sneak peek. No, there's not a little difference in my eyes. There's a huge difference in my eyes. Oh at her new God. face. It's just unbelievable. I can't get over it. Well, I'm glad you like I it. I love it. Thank you so much. It is truly remarkable. I don't look anything like I used to look. Do you like your new chin? I like everything. I love everything. It's just amazing. Detective Rollette has a big surprise for everyone. If I get to hug you again. Oh, you bet. <laughs> Thank you. At her 20th much. anniversary party. Fantastic. Thanks. You're stunning. Dr. Perlman says goodbye to Peggy. Yes. Uh, I have to tell you that there was probably a defining point for me in this whole process. The last time I saw you in your office before you went on vacation, and you looked at me and told me I was beautiful. And it was the first time I ever really believed it. Oh, gosh, that's amazing. And I ever really felt it. Well, you are. And you're the person who said it to me. Uh, it makes me feel very special. It really does. Uh, you are very special. Thank you. Well, you're a sweetheart. This was Detective Peggy Rollette eight weeks ago. The wear and tear of 20 years of grueling police work had taken its toll. Tonight, she returns for her 20th anniversary party, looking 20 years younger. I feel ecstatic right now. Detective Peggy Rollette, home for her 20th anniversary party. I, I've just changed so much, and I really needed to change. Her extreme makeover is top secret, thanks to Peggy's detective partner. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see her. I, I'm just bounding with energy. I feel soft, and I feel pretty, and I've never felt like that in my life. As you know, we're all here this evening to celebrate Peggy's 20-year career in law enforcement. What you don't know is that the woman who's about ready to walk down this staircase is going to look 20 years younger because she's had an extreme makeover. My partner, Detective Peggy Rowlett. It wasn't until she spoke that I realized it was our Peggy. I truly, I just, wow. The job that we do, you, you get a unique bond. Usually we're gathering for something that's pretty traumatic. So for us to see something this wonderful happen to somebody that's so dear to all of us was really an, an exciting and emotional event. For Peggy Rollett, two decades of police work vanished without a trace. Here's how. She got lifts to her brow, her neck, her upper and lower eyelids, a new chin and jowl, porcelain veneers, and LASIK eye surgery. From looking dead to a living doll. You know, I, I've thought for many weeks how I would thank you. How could I possibly thank Dr. Perlman? Thank you.